Hello everyone, in this video I will be explaining about the DFA for languages consisting of a strings containing particular substring. So here I will take a simple example to explain, explain the substring problems related to DFSM. Okay related to DFSM or DFA. Now, the example 1, example 1, construct a DFA, construct a DFA, DFSM or DFA accepting, accepting accepting st string string over over a comma b a comma b where each where each string string containing containing b as the b as the substring substring b as the substring now now when a problem is given on the substring containing a substring uh, some keyword then uh, how we are going to how we are going to construct a dfsm or dfa first of all as usual understand the substring uh, that is uh, list alphabet uh, uh, identify the alphabet. Alphabet is here A comma B. Then write the languages. Write the language that is the string containing the language here. I said B as the substring. That means the smallest string it can contain is B. Then uh, it can be in this way B A or A B B B A. All those. These are somewhere B has to come in the string. Okay. So now how to write the number of states number of states for this kind of problem is is length of the substring length of substring plus 1 length of substring plus 1 for this problem it will be it will be 1 plus 1 that is 2 okay so initially let's construct a dfsm now dfsm so, for the substring containing B, right? So, let me write first of all to identify B, identify B, you need to have two states, two, two, two states are done, okay? So, now B is there in the string now because of this. Now, what if the, the alphabet whatever I am going to consider is A comma B, that means each state has to take a transition on each character. Now, what if it can, any number of A's if it is if it is present in the string, any number of A's if it is present in the string before getting a B, so that is okay. So any number of A's, okay, it can be part of the can be part of the string. Then after that, for uh, Q naught, it is it has taken a transition. Q naught it has taken a transition on A as well as B. Now coming to Q1, Q1. After once if it is getting B in the string, in the string you will come to the state Q1, isn't it? After identifying this particular substring, it will come to the state Q1. So our aim is done, that is identifying a B in the string is done. So at this point, if you get A or B, no issues. Any character, the combination of A, A and B is okay. A and B is okay. combination of A and B is okay at this point. That is once after getting 1B that is substring B then you can have anything any combination of A and B that is fine. So, this is about the DFSM construction. 
So let us write the quintuple m equal to delta s comma a. So q is nothing but all the set states that are present in the q not comma q and sigma is a comma b delta s is q not and then accepting is q1 okay where delta equal to q not on a goes to q not okay q not on b goes to q1 q1 on a goes to q1 q1 on b goes to q1 this is what the dfsm okay next i will take one more problem related to the construction of a dfsm now i will construct a dfa or a dfsm or dfa containing containing substring substring ba containing substring ba where where sigma equal to a comma b where sigma equal to a comma b now here as usual alphabet is a comma b the string oh, sorry the language can contain the strings like b a b a a a b a a a b a b b b a b all this somewhere b a should come so you can have here it is present here but whenever it is substring it has to come together b has to come together okay so this is the set of strings then the number of states needed is length of the substring is 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 2 plus 1 is 3 so let's construct now dfsm dfsm or dfa so ba so first i will identify the characters using a states so ba so q0 q1 and q2 then coming to in the beginning if you get a that is okay because substring in the sense ba can come anywhere so before getting ba if you get any number of a's that is fine so q0 can take a transition on a so q0 has uh, taken a transition on b but it has not taken a transition on a so i have uh, i have i'm taking a loop for a on q0 then um, coming to q1 q1 has already taken a transition on b so if you get b any number of times is that okay so if you get b obviously here any number of times obviously the next character will be a next character will be a so b b b you can take and followed by that a to go to to take the next character isn't it the for the character after this b will come is a itself not some other character because to get some other character it has to cross this so after b you are going definitely going to get the next character as a so b a this is this is how it is fine so coming to q naught at the end once you get b a once you get give a any combination of a b is fine any combination of a b is fine so this is about b a okay next we'll write the quintuple m equal to q sigma delta s comma a so q is nothing but all the states q not q1 q2 sigma is nothing but a comma b delta s comma a q not and then q2 so what is delta where 
delta is equal to q naught comma a q naught q naught comma b q1 q1 on a q2 q2 q1 on b q1 q1 on b q1 q2 on a and b q2 on a is going to itself q2 itself and q2 on b is q2 this is the transition Next we will see one more problem related to this substring and this time we will uh, consider the string uh, which does not contain a substring B A B. Okay. So, the third problem I am going to consider is construct a DFA, construct DFA for the language W belongs to A comma B star such that such that, such that W does not contain, okay, does not contain, contain substring, that is language does not contain substring B A B, B A B, okay, does not contain substring B A B. So, for this, for this, first we have to, first we have to uh, construct a, construct a DFA for B, uh, contains substring B A B. So, initially we have to start with contains substring B A B and later we need to convert it to not. Later we need to negate the DFA whatever we have done. Okay. So, initially I will build the substring for B A B. Okay. Initially I will build the DFA for B A B that contains substring B A B. So, as usual let me write for the string B A then B. So, it will identify B A B. Okay. B A B. So, I will not make it as a accepting state right now B A B. So, it is going to contain B A B. Okay. So, let it be this way. B A B. So, Q 1, Q 2 and then Q 3. Next is what? Q naught or any number of times A we can get. Okay. In the beginning before getting B A B. Next come to here Q 1. Q 1 has already taken transition on A but not on B. Okay. So, here we can get B A B B B. So, after that it can get A B followed by that it can get B A B. So, B can take a loop here. Then coming to Q 2. B A you have already got next you are supposed to get is A. Next you are supposed to get is B. But here if I do a loop as A that is not allowed. That is not allowed. Okay. Q2 on A can it take a so loop is not possible that we have come to know whether what about this going to Q1 on A Q2 to Q1 on A is it okay no because that will accept finally B A A A B so something like that it is going to get so even such kind of a string it is going to accept. So, that means only one way is if you get a A at after getting B A one way is to again begin from the begin from the start state begin from the start state. So, B A so Q2 on A it has to come back to Q0 and then again start in search of B A B. Okay. 
coming to Q3, Q3 in the sense already you have reached Q3 state, then only two ways A comma B, A comma P, right? So, so once you have got B, A, B, then there is no problem if you get a combination of A's and B's. That is why it is a loop at Q3 it can take a loop on A and B, A and B. This is this is uh, this VFA whatever we have got containing substring VAB, but we does not want a VAB. In that case, what to do? Just to replace that is the whatever the states uh, that the states which are non-final make it as a final, and states make it as a final, and states which are final make it as a non-final. So we need to invert this entire DFA that is by replacing or changing the states from final states to non-final, non-final states to final. Okay, so now I will convert this. This need to be, so earlier it was E. So even this will be a final state even this will be a final state and finally here q3 okay so this is what So, this is what the construction of DFA. Now, we will write the quintuple M, Q, Sigma, delta s comma a so q is all the states q naught q1 q2 and q3 that are present in the dfa sigma is a comma b delta is the transition function then the s is the start state start state is q naught then the final states are q naught q1 and q2 q naught q1 and q2 Okay. Now we will write delta where delta I am going to write in the form of table. I am going to write in the form of table A and then B. Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. Q0 on A, Q0, Q0 on B, Q1. Q1 on A, Q2, Q1 on B, Q1, Q2 on A, Q0, Q2 on B, Q3, Q3 on A, Q3, Q3 on B, Q3. So, this is the transition function. 